What is up everyone, my name is Alpha and today we're trying something new on an old ROM hack that we haven't done in a little bit. Today we're on Pokemon Alt Red, not Alternate, uh, it's Alt Red, like Alternative or Alter Red. On the wiki it says Alt Red, so I'm going to go with Alt Red. And today's challenge will be, can I beat Pokemon Alt Red using only Starter Pokemon? Now you guys don't know, the Starter Pokemon in this game is actually a bunch of crazy looking Pokemon. They have new forms on each of the Starter Pokemon. I think every Pokemon has a new form, so... It's going to be interesting going through. I'm going to use their original names because I don't know how to pronounce their new names. Also included in this challenge, each of my Pokemon will be named after you guys in the comments. So thank you so much for leaving a comment in the previous challenge video. If you guys want to be nicknamed after a Pokemon in my future challenge, please just drop it in the comments and hopefully I'll pick yours. And while you're down here leaving a comment, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into the challenge video itself. So to start off, we have some options. So we got the Grass Turtle, the Water Charmander, and the Fire Bulbasaur. So I think we're going to go with the Water Charmander, Water Charizard. That's going to be cool. Even in the Pokemon City, there's some wild looking Pokemon like Will Fortune. <laughs> like, what is this? There is a bunch of starter Pokemon available to us at the start of the game. As you can see, we go into Route 1 and we're able to find ourselves a Snow Totodile, an Ice type Totodile that we're going to add to our team. That is a starter type Pokemon, it's a Johto starter. And we're also going to stay out here, get ourselves a Burrita, a Chikorita that is a ground type with some skulls on his head. So we're going to add that to our team. We're supposed to add an Eevee, but I ran out of Pokeball. Eevee does count as a starter Pokemon from its Let's Go days, but unfortunately I ran out of Pokeball, so I had to put it down. Unfortunately, we don't get an Eevee for now, but we move out into the forest. And as you can see, there's just some wild looking Pokemon. There's some creative Pokemon out here. You have to be somewhat creative to remake over 400 Pokemon just for this ROM hack. You gotta give it to the creators of this ROM hack. But let's move on into the first gym of the game. We're gonna face off against Brock here. Brock is going to be the first gym leader in the game and we'll start the battle off against him using I'm using my Seamander. Seamander is going to water gun, knock out the Tyrogue. Comes out a Carbolt, which is gonna be a Carvana but an electric type. So I'm gonna switch out into my ground type Chikorita, which is gonna much shot it and one shot it, even though it's under level. Even in a ROM hack where you have a new form and new abilities and new stats, Chikorita is still bad, unfortunately, for that thing. But it's gonna go down to this, uh, I don't even know, this rock thing, this ice rock. I switch out into my Seamander, it's gonna knock him out. And then Brock's last Pokemon will be a Makuhita that has a grass typing on it. I'm going to use my Total out to put him down to low HP. But eventually I am able to knock him out using my Seamander. And we end up beating Brock for the first gym badge. And now we can move on into some more wild stuff. We move out into uh, Mount Moon, which there's going to be a bunch of new Pokemon. I'm starting to use Total Dial more than everyone else. We eventually evolve him into a second form, which is nice. We move out into Cerulean City and the Nugget Bridge, where... Obviously, I gotta stop training him up because he's getting too high of a level. So, I'm gonna start actually training up my Chikorita eventually. But from there, we're gonna face off against the second gym leader in the game. We're gonna face off against Misty. Misty can start the battle off against us using a, <laughs> using a Fomel. Uh, I guess a water type Numo, which, which is two shot at by Bite from my Croconaw. And I am able to stay in against the Tartler. And then I can stay in against the Stanler that looks like. One of the Swords of Justice. <laughs> it looks like a Cobalion mixed in with the Keldeo. But my Croconaw is able to do some chip damage against him. Switch out into my Charmeleon, which will Dragon Rage knock him out. And for some reason, I'm going to sack my Chikorita because it's bad. So I'm going to Dragon Rage against the Gulpin, Gulp Tide. And then our final Pokemon will be a Jinx, which I'm able to Metal Claw down multiple times. It's going to start potioning up. But I am able to Aqua Jet it eventually, knock him out, and we get the second gym batch of the game. Now, at this point, I actually did not know where Route 22 was. I thought it was up here in Serene City. It was not, and I had just realized I messed up because there was more starters available to us back in Route 22, which is part of the early game. So I could have got some more starters, but I'll get them later on uh, after we beat the fourth gym in the game. Uh, so we'll be back, but we're going to head into Lieutenant Surge's gym next. We're going to start the battle off against him using my new Bayleaf. Bayleaf is a ground type Pokemon in this game, so we're going to actually must shot into uh, the, <laughs> the Elix, and we're going to one shot him. He then switches out to his Vigoroth, which I'm able to body him and much shot to knock out as well. And then there's a Lanoon <laughs> part electric, but it's not super effective, so maybe bug type because he's using Pin Missile. But I switch out to my water type Charmeleon, is able to Dragon Rage knock out the Lanoon and do some chip damage against the Zangoose. We'll knock him out with my Bayleaf, and then I just need to body slam down the Fair Bolt. Which is giving me a Pharaoh, but an electric type. And I'm able to get him down to low HP. Switch out to my Croconaw to knock him out with an Ice Shard and a crit. And we end up beating Surge without too many issues. 
From there, we're going to head into the rock tunnel, which we cleared through pretty easily. But as you can see, my Pokemon are finally getting to the final stages, and they look pretty cool. I have some Meganium. And Meganium just likes they put a skull on his head and dyed it brown. And <laughs> that's that's about it for Meganium. My Feraligatr gets out of hand with levels, as you can see. I'm going to start the battle off against Erica using my Charmeleon. I can try to Dragon Rage down. It did not work at all. So I switched out into my Feraligatr, which will Ice Cold Crash, knock out <laughs> the Venom off, knock out the Piloswine. Well, kind of. It, it takes a little bit. I'm not sure what typing Piloswine is, but uh, it does get knocked out eventually. The Quagsire goes down. The Corsola goes down. And then finally, the Maltic. Even though I run out of Ice Cold Crash against the Maltic, I am able to knock him out eventually. Eventually, I fell asleep too. I didn't know this part. I woke up pretty early, and Ice Shard would knock him out. And then Erica goes down, and we can finally go back all the way to Route 22, and then start catching the rest of the starter Pokemon on our team. The first starter Pokemon we're gonna catch is going to be a Psychic, which is gonna be Torchic, but Psychic type. And we're also gonna catch ourselves a Trico or Sneeko, which is a Dark type Trico. Interesting. And then the final one will be a Tough Kip. Which is giving me a fighting type Mudkip. Interesting names. Unfortunately, they have some kind of whack typing. I kind of wish they have a different typing besides Psychic, Dark, and Fighting. It's kind of whack typing. But from there, we're going to face up against Silco. We're going to beat down Giovanni pretty easily with our new Blaziken. I forgot the name. But it's a Psychic Blaziken. It's going to eventually knock him out, which is nice. And we clear through Giovanni. We face up against the next gym leader in the game. We face up against Sabrina next. Sabrina is going to be the 5th gym leader in the game. And we start the battle off against her using my Sceptile, which is going to be a Dark type. Sceptile Nightshades into her Cloister, which is a Cloister, I guess. I don't know. But Cloister goes down. Next up, she can switch out to her Houndoom, which gets one shot it as well. This Machem actually takes a Night Slash, which is surprising. So I confuse Raid, so it hits itself in confusion. And then uh, a Nightshade will crit it and knock him out. Her next Pokemon will be a Skarmory. Also gets knocked out. And then this thing is kind of wild. This thing is a Soul Nova, which is giving me a Soul Rock. And it's very, like, cool. This thing and also Lunatone's form are very, very cool in this game. I wish I could show you the Lunatone form. But the first time I saw it in Mount Moon, it was very scary looking. But from there, we're going to knock down her Swallow, and we actually cleared through her pretty easily. I was going to teach herself Psycho Cut. That's a nice battle for Sceptile. As we go into the Safari Zone in Fusion City, in this area, you can find yourself some Fire-type Pokemon, and you can find yourselves an Eevee. But I really want a Bulbasaur in here. Bulbasaur is one of the few starter Pokemon that I kind of want. Besides Meganium, I'm sorry, Meganium has to get bench. It made it this far, but it's just not useful at all. I just don't like using Meganium. So we're going to catch ourselves a Bulbasaur, a Fire Bulbasaur, which is pretty cool. Add it to our team, and now we're going to face off against Koga next. Koga is going to be the sixth gym leader in the game, and we're going to start the battle off against him using my brand Venusaur. Eruption Sword, but it's a double battle, so we have to use both my Venusaur and my Swampert. Which I still have to switch out though, because my attack stat went down. I'm not too sure why I'm switching out, because my attack stat went down. Now I'm going to use my Feraligatr and my Blaziken now. And they do a lot of work. They knock out the Atario first, which is nice. So he switched out into this Lucario looking thing. I thought it would be a Poison type, because he switched in, in a Poison Gym. He's not Poison at all. He is a uh, Dark type for sure. Because I went for a Psychic, it did not work against him, so... And I keep forgetting this Golduck is Water Absorb. I cannot use Water Moves against this Golduck, as you see with the Water Absorb. Luckily, he misses Guillotine with his Glide Score. I am able to knock him out with a Liquidation. Rock Slide does a bit of damage, but my Charizard goes down. And then I go out to my Sceptile once again. I'm going to hit him with a Night Slash, knock out the Golduck, and Rock Slide will knock out the Mantine as well. And we beat down Koga in a very confusing <laughs> double battle fight, I'm not going to lie. From there, we're going to start training up my Charizard because it's actually one of the weakest Pokemon, even though it's my starter Pokemon. We go into Blaine's gym and we fight every single trainer possible with the Lucky Egg on. Then we go up into like 48 by the end of this. So once we're at 48, we're going to face off against Blaine. Blaine's going to be the fire type gym leader, obviously. And we're going to start the battle off against him using my Venusaur. Venusaur is going to 1v1 against the Crobat easily if it just doesn't miss any moves. And it's going to switch out into his Electivire, which is pretty cool looking. I switch out into my Sceptile, trying to get a cheeky, like, Night Slash against him. He's going to Flare Blitz and knock me out, which is unfortunate. But I go out to my Blaziken next, which is going to Psychic him. It doesn't knock him out, but he would knock himself out with a Confusion. And then he goes out into his Samurai Crawdont. And I'm able to Psychic knock him out as well. He goes out to his Crowback next. 
I'm able to psychic him as well. And two psychics will actually put him down. This blaze skin's going crazy. His next Pokemon will be a Manectric. I live a flinter in the sun, so I could two shot him with a psychic as well. One of his last Pokemon will be a fortress. I unfortunately had to sack my blaze skin, go out into my C Charizard, which will liquidation into him and knock him out in one shot. And then his final Pokemon will be an Octazuka, an Octazuka, no artillery, which gets two shot by liquidation, and we end up beating Blaine pretty easily. Uh, Blaze can carry somehow. Blaze can psychic type carried in a fire gym. But from there, we're gonna face up against Giovanni next. And Giovanni's gym actually is a letdown because I thought it was gonna be something better. Unfortunately, his gym is pretty easy. As you can see, my for alligator, my for alligator just takes down his first Pokemon. And at this point, I could switch out into my Charizard to Surf and Icicle Crash both sides and we just end up beating his entire team pretty easily it's kind of a letdown as you can see we just one shot everything his final pokemon is going to be this Gallade hitmonchan looking thing but we're able to knock him out pretty easily with a surf and we end up beating giovanni it's just nothing special but from there we could move on face off against a rival out here in route 22 where we got most of our starter pokemon and we could icicle crash into most of his team we even got to move play rough i forgot the fairy typing was in this game but we're able to Ice Cold Crash basically everything down until the Beedrill comes out. And then I can start uh, losing most of my Pokemon to him. Luckily, Blaze can subsides the bleeding. And then we could go out into my Charizard to eventually just whittle down uh, the Magnezone. This cool looking Magnezone. Very cool looking it. But still very scary. As you can see, it one shots everything on my team. But we're able to barely knock him out with my Charizard. We were able to beat down a rival and we can move on into Victory Road. Victory Road has a complete makeover in this game. It's actually very straightforward. There is no puzzles at all. So I kind of don't like that because it's Victory Road. There's no puzzle. It's a straightforward just battle over and over and get all the items. From there though, once you're done with Victory Road, you can head into the Pokemon League obviously and face off against the Elite Four next. And we're going to face off against Lorelai next. Lorelai is going to be the first Elite Four member on our list. We start the battle off against her in this double battle fight with my Swampert and my Venusaur to, against her Provo Pass and her Ice Torkoal. Uh, we get frozen on the first team and for some reason in this game, if you use fire moves, you're still not going to be unfrozen. So both my Pokemon eventually get frozen and I'm kind of stuck here like they weren't doing any type of damage. So I switched out into my Feraligator and my Charizard once the Parasong goes down low enough. And then, obviously, Feraligatr has Rock Slide. It's going to do a lot of damage regardless of what it does. So I'm just going to keep Rock Sliding as I go out into my Venusaur. She just keeps protecting for some reason. So I switch back out into my Charizard and then just keep surfing and then <laughs> keep Rock Sliding. And eventually, it will knock out everything on her team. And her last two Pokemon will be a Golem and also the Storkel. It gets knocked out by the Surf and the Rock Slide. So we end up beating Lorelai pretty easily. And we can move on and face off against Bruno next. Bruno is a 1v1 fight. As I start the battle off against his Granbo with my Blaziken to call mine up. I live with 1 HP as he uses Crunch on me. And I can Psychic down the Granbo. I can Psychic down the Needle King. I can Psychic down the Bayonet. I, most of his team just goes down. And then his next Pokemon will be a Weavile that actually puts down most of my team as you can see. I can't do enough damage to him because I don't know the typing of him. It took down three of my Pokemon until I went out to my Swampert and then Brick Break into him to knock him out in one shot. He then goes out to his Glaceon which is going to be a fighting type I think. I tried a submission, I tried an Endeavor which is pretty unique. I, I finally used Endeavor as a move. Submission would knock him out and then for some reason I could submission twice against the Ferret which doesn't do any damage to me at all and we're able to knock him out and somehow Swampert just clutched things up against Bruno. Next up, we're going to face off against Agda next. Agda is going to be the ghost type Elite Four member of the game. Now, her team is actually not running at all. It's just that it took a little bit. It's one of the longest Elite Four battles we had. We're going to start the battle using up my Sceptile to knock out the Zatu and hopefully knock out the Claydol. Unfortunately, Claydol will knock me out, which is, well, there goes my Dark type. Go out to my Feraligator to knock out uh, the Claydol, and then the Pelipper comes out, which is so annoying. This Pelipper always gives me trouble. But luckily, I am able to knock with an Icicle Crash, and then this Hypno comes out. And this Hypno is pretty dangerous, as you see. It, it puts my Pokemon into sleep, and it's a Ghost type. And unfortunately, my Swampert only has Ground and Normal moves, and it has Shadow Attack, so I can't do anything. So Swampert has to go down, <laughs> which is which is awful. Not gonna lie. I go out into my Charizard next, which you get hit with a Hypnosis and Dream Eater down to Torrent Range. But fortunately enough for us, that is enough for us to surf him. Get him down to low HP and force her to heal up her Hypno, which allows me to two-shot it and knock him out with a Surf. She goes out to her Snorlax next. It's pretty tanky. I'm trying to chip it down, as you can see, with Eruption. It's going to Ice Punch me. I'm trying to Eruption it. 
It's getting rest up and it's very annoying. I go to my Blaziken to set up, trying to uh, knock him out. It's gonna soul steal me, and then that's that's done. I go out to my Venusaur next, and then I have this genius idea of Earth powering into a special defense dropped, and then I could finally chip it down without its resting up and all that. I think it just ran out of rest. I'm not gonna lie, but I do knock him out, and we end up finally beating Agatha. Oh wait, her final Pokemon will be the Shedinja trophy looking thing, but we're able to knock him out. I mean, flamethrower two more times so we end up beating Acta and we move on facing off against Lance next in this double battle fight you would think Lance fight would be harder than Agatha it's not it's a double battle fight and he doesn't do enough damage unfortunately we're gonna lose our Sceptile at like the first two turns in the game uh, but my Swampert stays in I'm not sure why I didn't go out to my Feraligator here but I'm gonna go out to my Charizard to surf him down he gets pretty low on HP wastes his potions and then he switched out to this behemoth Tropius looking thing it's really cool looking i should have started endeavoring with my swamper as well it would have gotten down to low hp and surf would have finished him off but my swamper finally goes down and i can switch out to my feraligator to ice go crash into all his dragon types as you can see that is a tyranitar with grass coming out of his body instead of gems but i am able to call mine up using my blaziken and ice crash into him everyone wants to use protect during a double battle i'm not too sure why but uh, i will eventually knock out the behemoth tropius over there with two shots uh, I'm not too sure why I just attack. Nothing's attacking my Feraligator, which is annoying because this thing is destroying everything on his team. But eventually, we're able to knock out the Tropius. We beat down Lance with his Dragon type Pokemon that don't do any damage at all. And we can face off against our rival next. Our rival is going to be the champion of the game. We're going to start the battle off against the champion using my Venusaur to just flamethrower into the dust stops, which I think is a rock type Pokemon, rock and buff possibly. We're able to knock him out, and then his next Pokemon will be. A Blastoise. Unfortunately, I I run out of fire moves against him, and he's gonna heal up. But I go out into my Feraligator to Ice Cold Crash and Ice Shard to knock him out. Feraligator is a monster in this game. He goes out into his Talonments, which looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. I go for an Ice Cold Crash. He's going for a Brave Bird, and then I just have to Ice Cold Crash once more to knock him out. I run out of Ice Cold Crashes though. That's unfortunate. I go for Ice Shards against this uh, Wall Ring looking thing. I part Dragon. I'm going to do some chip damage against him using my Sceptile. And then my Swampert comes on next. He can force him to heal again and the submission and all that. I'm not too sure what I'm doing. I sack another Pokemon. I go out into my Charizard, which will surf into him. And then Dragon Rage will actually knock him out, which is kind of funny. A move that does 40 damage actually knocks out someone in the Elite Four. And his next Pokemon will be this Fire Victory Boat, which gets knocked out in two shots. I don't want to teach my Pokemon Dragon Dance because I don't really have space for him. So I got to beat down this Magazone, this really cool looking magnezone it looks like a mario character or a legend of zelda character so i'm able to knock down the magnezone and we're able to knock out our rival and become the champion of pokemon alt red and that will be the end of our challenge very fun challenge i get surprised even re-watching it i'm not gonna lie i hope you guys all enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching all the way to the end it means a lot to me and this is the final team as you see a very interesting looking cast of characters uh, I was very surprised Charizard had no wings, so I couldn't fly back the entire game for some reason. But that will do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment down below some challenge deals, all that. And subscribe if you guys are not already. It really help me out. And my name is Benalfo. Hope you guys all had a great day. And I am out. Peace.